Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, here's a second video that to be super, super quick, um, talking about our multiplicative inverse. Um, first, the definition. Multiplicative inverse is a reciprocal. That's it. Uh, a reminder about reciprocals, um, it's when we take any number, like 3 over 4, and we rotate it and it becomes something like 4 over 3. Or if you had something like the number negative 7, and you rotate it, numerator and denominator, flip it over, and it becomes negative 1 over 7, because the denominator of any integer would be just 1. Um, they flip. They flip. Okay? To be more specific, a multiplicative inverse, or a reciprocal, is a number that when multiplied by its reciprocal equals one. The multiplicative inverse is a number that when multiplied by its reciprocal equals one. So let's just start off with our two examples here. 3 over 4 times 4 over 3. Do you see our pairs of 1s? 4 over 4, 3 over 3. Just like we did when we were simplifying exponents. That equals either 1 right away, or you could say 12 over 12, which is still a pair of 1s, 1. Negative 7 over 1 times negative 1 over 7. Well, we already know a negative times a negative is a positive, so that's great. And then 7 over 7 is 1, and 1 over 1 is 1. So same thing, equals 1. You can do this with really anything, um, but we're going to find that this is going to be really, really helpful for us when we're trying to solve problems, sort of like what we looked at in the last video of like 3 fourths x equals 28. Again, hard to guess at what the answer is here. Hard to look at this and say, oh, divide by 3 fourths. A lot easier to say, I can get this to be just 1x. And the way I get that to be 1x is I multiply it by the reciprocal, by the multiplicative inverse, times 4 over 3. 1 and 1, I get 1x. 28 times 4 over 3, what was it? 112 over 3. Don't forget about the 1 in the denominator. That's it. Um, we'll keep going from here and look at another inverse in just a moment. 